Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. The ninth and final Ghostmaster has a rain dance deck. Yep. And it's gonna be water versus water here with my stop at deck. The most epic battle in all of history versus the most powerful rain dance deck in the game. Well, besides what we can build, of course. So let's see what we can do here. Ghostmaster Mary, Torrential Downpour deck. Oh yes. Hi! Hello there! You wanna battle, right? I go sit at the dueling table! Yay! <laughs> I'm Mary, nice to meet you! It's great to have a card battle after waiting for such a long time! Get the most enjoyment out of it, let's play the six prize cards! Yay! Blastoise! <laughs> so yeah, uh, it's a pretty true rain dance deck to boot. That's the Articunos and everything, so <laughs> it's gonna be possibly an uphill battle. We'll see how things go. <laughs> you know, I'm using my baddest deck currently, so I mean, it's kind of weird. I don't really have only have that, like, no energy cards or anything. I don't know. I <laughs> guess I'll just unload everything. There we go, and call it. <laughs> Sure, sure, I'll probably just end up doing that anyway, because those are like all my all my main critters anyway. Okay, you don't have very much right now yourself, so... Oh, well, you do have that. So I guess you were holding that in your hand to go for the paralysis right away. And you were successful, but I was probably only going to lullaby anyway, assuming I get an energy card, so... Not no more! <laughs> come on, oh, there's water. I was going to say, come on, Professor Oak, but well... <laughs> Uh, go for the star you. And. Might as well try offsetting it a little bit. And call it a turn. Watch her drop the other Articuno. Oh, <laughs> that's not the one I was thinking of. But I was thinking of another legendary one. Well, I guess they're technically legendaries, but I mean the legendary Pokemon cards, you know what I mean. Uh. I'm gonna go do that. Maybe I should have started powering up Wigglytuff to begin with, actually. But, eh, we'll see how things go. For all I know, I'll get a Professor Oak, and then Game Over O. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I should, uh, like, switch right into Wigglytuff after the knockout, because... Yeah, I don't want Wiggly to take damage unnecessarily. Rain Dance can do a lot of damage, so yeah. We're gonna go slap. And gonna keep slapping that Squirtle into oblivion until we have to switch or something, probably. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if I should switch now. Because, I, I mean, I... I don't know. Maybe I should... Yeah, I think I will, actually. We're gonna go to Wiggly. We're gonna plop that water. I guess... Um... This is like a... This is a prediction here. I guess I'll go for the seal. Because the seals can potentially do a lot when it goes into Dugong. I mean, sure, the Dragonair can energy removal and stuff like that itself, but the thing about it is, eh, it takes four to get there, and I'm already lacking energy to begin with, so I'd much rather use something that requires less energy. The Starmie. I could potentially use Recover on that. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess I'll continue going with that and do the wave. Let's go. Yeah, I don't really have it at full power yet. Ooh, that could be a problem for the Wiggly. Oh, jeez, okay. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll be able to knock out the War Turtle, but then something else is going to be coming on the side here. Probably the Squirtle. She may go for this Articuno and try to freeze-dry me, but... Uh, I should at least give Dratini something. Anyway, let's finish off the War Turtle. And end that turn with a wave. Energy removal is very nice to see, so yeah, Squirtle is there. Uh, okay, so it's like she just wants to keep whittling down my Wigglytuff. At least as, as far as I can see, I see... I'm gonna go plop that on there. 
Energy removal. Articuno. <laughs> How's that for strategy? <laughs> I mean, yeah, she could knock out my Wigglytuff on the next turn. But I still have attackers in backup. You know, that could do 10 damage anyway. So that was just more for preparing for the future. So let's go ahead and do the wave. And now she doesn't have any enough, like enough energy for anything else. Unless she draws it. And she did not. So that ended up being a good move after all. Um, let's go for Star Me, because I can use her cover on it. Alright, I guess I'll unload my hand now as the surprise. <laughs> There we go, Dugong is mine, so that means my prediction was correct, out of sheer luck. <laughs> uh, ooh, that's another nice surprise, a super energy removal, by the way. I'm gonna do that, plop that on there, but we're not gonna actually use a super energy removal, we're just gonna kinda nick away at that Articuno. And I don't know if she had just had a bad shuffle or what, but yeah, it's just, I was able to recover much, much faster, even though I didn't really have that much draw power, just like I had better draws overall. Ooh, that could, that could turn things around if Wiggly gets frozen! Yeah, we'll see, I don't know. It's still three turns to power up this Articuno, so... Mm, yeah, okay. Uh, should I? I yeah, that's right, she doesn't have... And I, don't, I can't attack, so yeah, she doesn't have energy. I couldn't attack, that was kind of like a stalemate of a turn. And energy retrieval, well those are going to be removed pretty quickly. Anyway. Uh, why would you even attach it to this art? Oh, maybe to switch. Because I'll be waving. So maybe I should just do that and finish this game really quick. Give you another chance with a second game or something, because that seemed way too easy. Oh, you got to switch. Even so, it still seems way too easy. Because I'm just kind of casually doing the wave the whole way through and it's somehow working I even had the energy to <laughs> that go along with it along the way so okay this is the point where I would probably be best using the super energy removal I guess I'll do it on the star me now uh, I don't it doesn't look like that I'll even yeah I'll go for the other star you into a star me I guess or just slap with the star you I don't know, I'm just, I'm just kind of looking to end this game pretty quick now for a <laughs> rematch. <laughs> Alright. And... Oh, I just realized something. I forgot to change my coin again. I, I said I was going to change my coin a couple parts ago, but... I am shamed. I am shamed. Aside from this win... That <laughs> well, I still see the rest of you as I haven't played such a long time? Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We're gonna play another game. Uh, <laughs> uh, other wiggly tough, not the one that is working for my deck. Thanks so much for playing cards with me. You'll play again, right? Goodbye for now! Whee! And what? No, 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 no. Coins. <laughs> my champ, I guess. <laughs> Rematch! Yes. Hi, Lola. You want a bell ride? You go sit in the same dialogue? I think, yeah. Interesting. But this is the power of my torrential downpour deck! Just like last time I used six press cards! Whee! Okay, so that was a different dialogue. <laughs> Alright, Mary. I'm, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt here. You've got Rain Dance, so you should have the power to destroy the entire universe. Uh, I already got a good start here, so. It's already not looking good for her. Actually, I don't know. She might be able to do some massive sweeps for all I know. Yeah, we shall see. I'm not going first anyway. <laughs> uh, what does she have on the bench, though? I don't know. She's probably going to start water gunning, though. As expected. I'll see what I need to do on my turn after I check her field. And just squirtle another Lapras. I see. I see. We're gonna go destroy that, <laughs> plop that out there, and get ahead on the energy curve with the water guns. And oh, I thought, <laughs> see, when I seen Articuno, I was like, oh, is that the legendary? No, it's not. It's not the one that freezes, or potentially freezes you when it comes into play. And 
Lugong. Hello! <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna Professor Oak. Let's not beat around the bush here, we're dealing with Rain Dance. <laughs> uh, who else should I put in play? Probably the Dratini. Should I try and go for another Dugong? Maybe. Because if so, I need the other seal on there. And I'm gonna go for the confuser. See if it works. It works. Yeah. Well, I mean, I always, it always works. It always does 10 damage. But it doesn't always confuse. That's what I'm going for with that. Uh, oh, she has given up on the Lapras Tails, please. Thank you. Uh, maybe it's just not her day again. <laughs> I don't know. It's like. This water deck that I have built is much too powerful. Much too powerful. I'm just gonna do two water guns and focus on powering up Dugong on the side. Like, why do 30 when you do two 20s and still gonna do the same amount, you know, knock it out in the same amount of turns? Wow, KO'd itself. So that means I'll get free damage on whatever she puts in next. Oof. That's, uh... That's not good for you there. And, you know, she's, she should be getting Blastoise somewhere around here, too. You know? That's kind of main part of her strategy and everything like that. <laughs> oh, and I got to get Fusion again, jeez. It's like, I've got the Game Shark now! <laughs> mm. Nah, I don't get the head to flip all the time. But it sure feels like it lately. <laughs> okay, there's War Turtle. So she could be building up for a blast. At least, well, she probably is building up for a little blast. I don't know if she's got it in her hand or not, though. Um, I'm gonna keep going with that. Pop that on there. Guess get a backup Lapras on there. And water gun away. I guess I'll. I don't know, surprise her with all three energy cards for the final attack to finish off Lapras or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. And jeez. <laughs> yeah, this is this is not her day, is it? <laughs> and water energy, that's yeah. That's, that I guess the surprise is coming early. Um actually wait a second. Before I do that, suck that out. Suck those away. And that's like a double surprise attack. And that is my victory once again. And it looks like she's using Articuno as like a damage sponge. Uh, yeah, we'll do that and water gun. <laughs> she's probably gonna maybe try for a switch, I would bet. Uh, maybe she'll go for the freeze dry, I don't know. We shall see, I guess. In the meantime, I will continue putting the pressure on her. Yeah, I'm not going for the Confusory because I'm not sure what she's gonna do, and I just want to get as much damage as I can into the other Kuno. Yeah, I guess she was trying for an attack, but maybe she was predicting I was gonna use Confusory or something like that. And, well, I didn't! <laughs> Professor Oak, very nice. That you should you probably should not have put out that war turtle. <laughs> I probably should have put something else other than that because that's kinda kinda your ace there, and yeah, you might want to save that. Just saying. Um I guess I could just wipe out my hand. I don't, I don't like I don't really need those particular other cards at this moment in time. I'm more interested in the, the setup, and yeah. So I think I'm actually offset her a little bit there. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll water gun. If she surfs, she surfs, you know. <laughs> I don't know how much energy she's got on hand. I guess she does not have any energy because she didn't attach anything, so. At least that's my best guess, unless she's saving it for a surprise? I don't know. Oh man. Uh, should I? Or should I wait on that? I probably should, I guess. I... Anyway, let's continue water gunning the war turtle. And if she gets an energy, she will knock out uh, for Blastoise to save a turn. Her turns. Oh, you had that in your hand the whole time, really? 
Alright, so though she's pulling out the blast. <laughs> Didn't even evolve the war turtle. I <laughs> I'm gonna have to show you how this is done later. <laughs> It's like, it's like, man, the AI is being an AI. So <laughs> I mean, I, I thought you would at least have evolved it to get a little extra HP. Just kind of stall for a bit. I don't know. At least that's what I would have done. Because she's kind of in a stuck position. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> kind of in a stuck position anyway. So, all right, continue on the pressure on for the head on. Apply Articuno directly to the forehead or a water gun. And. Well, should I go for the Confuse Ray? Is either or. Or should I just switch to switch into Dugong and win? I don't know, I'll try for the Confuse Ray. <laughs> either way, I, I think I'm gonna win this game anyway, so. Yeah. <laughs> and. Pokemon Schrader, Blastoise Coat. I don't know. <laughs> Why didn't you get the Skirtle to begin with if that, if that was your plan all along? I don't know. I don't know. Well, at least you got your freeze dry. <laughs> so that will knock out the Lapras, because I gave her a little bit of mercy. I said I could have switched to the Dugong, so I basically called my win. Alright, so now I guess we can just sweep the rest of her stuff. This does not appear to be... Any match for my deck, or maybe she's just having terrible luck, I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Uh, and I guess it's possible with uh, Articuno to cause paralysis to Dugong, and then have some sort of miraculous recovery like Pokemon Breeder Squirtle into Blastoise, and then Professor O gives her a bunch of energy cards, and then she starts blasting me into oblivion with a uh, 100 HP Blastoise. I'm just... it's wishful thinking for her. <laughs> uh, yeah, guess for the fun of it, I'm gonna trade Jigglypuff or Dragonair. Put that Dragonair on there, and the Aurora Beam! Yes, I know I could also Ice Beam, but I'm giving her, giving her a little bit of a chance, just a little bit. <laughs> Actually, this is going to be one of those sorts of, like, double wins, I guess you could say, because... I'm taking the last prize card, and she doesn't have any bench Pokémon. Alright! <sighs> sorry, Mary! So sorry. Uh, anyway, present booster pack. Let's see who we get. I should add more of those to other decks that I got, actually. Uh, thanks so much for playing. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll give you another try in the future. <laughs> but for now, I'm gonna go back over to Ishihara's house because he may very well have the third and final trade of his, so I kind of want to get that out of there, because if I do, there's something else I can do there as well. Do -do 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 -do. Yes, 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 hey, hello to friends or whatever. Yeah, he probably has the other trade. It's been a while since I've been over there. Uh, doing fine. Dragonair level 45, yes! Yes! For Meryl level 17! Yes! Yes! <laughs> There's a Meryl! Promotional Meryl! Actually, promotional from the regular game type Meryl. We got some water guns, 10 extra damage. I guess you could add to your rain dance. <laughs> There's no Azuril in this game, but it's something for fun and for your collection, basically. And speaking of the collection, I have a lot more cards to collect, too, in, in general, so still much, much more game to go. You're welcome. I still don't know how... Actually, maybe I never mentioned this before. Um, the Dragonite, level 45. It normally evolves at level 55. How did this happen? Did it, did it use Lance's training? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you do that, and... Thank you for your uh, training with me, Mint. I think we're going to head out to my villa on GR Island. Please feel free to stop by when you're in the area. 
Alright, so what do you say we head on over and do that? Heading on over to his villa, we've been over there before, remember we checked out the books and or maybe diaries or whatever you want to call them, because I remember he wrote them. And it's his thoughts on various things, so it could be both. It could technically be both. Alright, we've made it back. And... Uh, 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 uh. Now, which direction do I press from here? Is it left? No, it's up. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so remember I said that there was a dueling table here? I was foreshadowing. Oh man, did you decide to visit today too? Mr. Ishara has an awe-inspiring library about of books about card battles. As a talk executive, you need to study new and interesting duel strategies. Oh, is that why you're here too? Well, that's fine. Let's have a rematch sometime soon. I won't lose next time. However, it's better to do it at GR Castle than right here. I'll see you later, Mint. Oh, wait, I thought... Uh... Hold on a sec. I thought uh, Ishihara was flopped over here at some pointy point. I'm going back. <laughs> I might actually save and reset the Game Boy to see. Because uh, I thought after the third trade, Ishihara is supposed to duel you. Well, he is supposed to duel you after the third trade at, at some point, but I thought... He would have dueled me right after. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, that was definitely not. There's a horror at his house, though. Alright, there we go. You're still here! Alright. Hmm. Okay, where should I save here? We're gonna go. Save, her. save her right here, I suppose. And yeah, we're, gonna, we're gonna do a mock turn off the Game Boy. And continue the game, and see if that changes anything, because yeah, I'm pretty sure you battle him over at GR Island, this, you know, his other house over there, you don't battle him at the other place, if I remember correctly. I mean, it could be possible, it's, it's not ready right now, it's just unlocked, like, those other trades at random or something like that. Alright, I pressed off! <laughs> And... Oh, there is! Woo! Woo it's probably looking at me like, what the heck is wrong with you? Good afternoon, Mint. I hope you're enjoying the island. I can see that you're being quite an active player over here. As you may know, this is my personal villa. I frequently use this as a retreat to contemplate complex strategies. If you wish to see what cards I'm trading for, stop by sometime. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Good afternoon, man. Are you enjoying battling Team GR? It's important to take some time off to study your Pokémon cards deeply. Sorry to say, but I'm not looking to trade cards right now. Yes, I know that. You only had three trades. You're welcome to return later. However, I'll be here studying. Hmm? Uh-huh. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. 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 Let's try this again. <laughs> Maybe because he moved there, now turning off the Game Boy and turning it back on will set him up. Otherwise, this is gonna mess up my plans all day and all night. Actually, no, there's, there's another place that I could go to in the meantime if I really wanted to, but... With him. <laughs> Come on now! I guess I'll go try and <laughs> head back over to another house and see anything different going on there. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive he's supposed to be at the other place to duel me. Unless it's just gonna be a thing where I'm just gonna have to wait on that. <laughs> Alright. Oh, oh, oh! Good afternoon, man. Are you want to draw your Pokemon cards? I've returned from doing some quick investigations. I'm still a little bit, a little busy currently. Peace. Dang it! <laughs> Dang it! 
Alright, so let's try once more. Man, it's, it's being really picky here, I've got to say. <laughs> you know, I guess I gotta show the process of the steps it takes to get him to do some sort of duel. Dang it! <laughs> oh, no, no, no! Oh, maybe actually, maybe not dang it. Maybe he went back over to the other house and is like, I, I've done I've done all my research in that five seconds you had the Game Boy. I should say, you, you're out of the game. And like, yes, I did enough research. I made my deck. I'm ready to go. Uh, well, whenever I am able to do this, he's got like a deck of really rare cards. I wouldn't say it's difficult to beat or anything like that, Hiccup, excuse me. Uh, but it's just, it's just something fun to do, you know? <laughs> Hey! Yep, yep, yep. It's just in legendary flying Pokemon cards at the moment. Specifically, I'm like, oh, you do have another. I thought you only had three trades. Ultra Slipper 37. The attack would dry up. And I'll offer you a surfing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Now I remember. Alright. I see you're off. I can see you really want to trade. I don't see you have a. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh man, actually wait a second, um, yeah, the Moltres level 30, yeah, I guess I don't, yeah, it's a 40, it's not, yeah, yeah, the one I'm looking for is the fossil one, hmm, so I guess I can't duel them, but that's okay, I suppose, because I did plan on going and checking out something else, remember the game center, remember that? Here's my backup plan! <laughs> Alright! Hi! You can't take game chips away from the game center. Please leave any remaining chips at the left car before leaving. Okay, but first let's check the left side. I was studying the games here to figure out how to ensure wins. But every time I play, it's lose, lose, lose. I always lose. In the end, I haven't learned a thing. <laughs> Sometimes I feel that way too. Since you've reached your goal, it's a great time to unwind here. Ah, uh, yes. And gamble. Yes, it's a very good idea. I have no regrets about what has happened since King of the Sea lost. Oh, maybe I should have came here to see if there was different dialogue earlier. Hmm. 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 Anyway. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the chip counter! You can reclaim any game chips you've won here! Hello and welcome to the prize counter! <laughs> so you can check out the prizes, you can get uh, special promotional cards. Yeah, you don't actually need the card pop for these two anymore, at least in this game. It's the other two. Aha! Aha! Psyched you out! Um, there's also a coin that you can get, present pack, Bill's computer, special card, and all that stuff and stuff and stuff, but we don't have zero right now. Zero! Hello, welcome to the Game Center. You don't have any chips, do you? Here, I'll give you ten chips! Yeah! <laughs> Alright. Alright, Dan. Please enjoy your time at the Game Center. Just remember that you can't take the chips outside the center. Alright. If you're in our chips, see me again. Uh, yeah, it's, it'll, if you run out of chips, she'll top you off at ten, so there you go. So, um, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. As you can see in the game center, but this is not what I'm gonna be focusing on here. I'm gonna be focusing on this over here. I'm actually gonna save before I do this because I don't wanna lose my chips for the sake of convenience. Welcome! This is the card dungeon! Uh huh! <laughs> it's 10 chips for a game! Would you like to play? Huh, look at that, I have 10 chips. How convenient is that? I'll say no. Come on back if you ever wanna play in the card dungeon. Yes. Alright, first let's review the rules. Wager chips against many hard dungeon challengers. Win, you'll double your wager. Lose, and you'll forfeit your chips. Oh no! <laughs> you made it all into the dungeon! Alright. And we are locked in. From both sides. I can't even talk to this door. I am Pawn. Welcome to your first dungeon fight. Get it? Chess pieces? Pawns? See that on the side? Uh huh. <laughs> If you can defeat me in a card battle, you can advance onward. In order to fight, you'll need to pay me 10 chips. If you win, you'll gain 20 chips. Will you pay 10 chips to fight me? Sure, it's basically free if you think about it. 
How many chips? I have to wager 10! <laughs> we'll have a duel of four price cards then. Come on, let's fight! Bad luck, Zack! And we got the regular music here for some reason. I don't know where that's coming from. It's a uh, left field. <laughs> uh, well, that's uh, that's if you start aside from that Bill and Professor Oak. But I mean, hopefully I won't be utterly wiped out. Maybe I shouldn't have used such a powerful deck. Oh, there's the Moltres that I, was, that I need. Oh wait, no, that's not. Oh no, no, yeah, that's. Oh yeah, the Dry Up Moltres is an extended series. Oh yeah, this one's the Wildfire Moltres. Uh, it burns the opponent's decks, and it may do nothing in the dive bomb. But I'll be slapping that bad boy. I don't think it has... Wait, does it not have a weakness, right? It doesn't have, Yeah, it doesn't have a weakness, so there's no double damage for me. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna... Why did I do that? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to slap it anyway. No double damage, but I will be okay with that. And yeah, I don't I don't think she'd want to use a wildfire either because you gotta discard the energy. And yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'll just slap away and have a good time. Probably gonna retreat that. Probably. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no oh no. Oh no <laughs> Uh, slap. And yeah, I'll, I'll Professor Oak, like, before I'll, I knock out the Moltres, just in case of any sort of surprises. Because I don't want to risk taking 40 damage or something that possibly is going to get flopped in or anything like that. I mean, yeah, Kangaskhan won't be able to do 40, but I mean, you might have something. I don't know. Uh, I'll just do that, I suppose. And I'll, I'll Professor Oak. I, I need benches. I just... I, I, I'm overthinking it again. I just should use Professor Oak to fill up the bench quickly as possible. And actually, wait, 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 hold on a sec. We're gonna go Pokemon Trader Dugong into Starmie to really bolster our chances of winning. And plop that on there and give it a little freezing. Heck yeah, baby! It's a no retreat for you. That's kind of a Total waste of energy. Okay, it's not just kind of, uh, it's, uh, definitely, uh, uh... I guess I'll use a super energy removal when she tries to power up Kangaskhan further, probably? Uh, or do I want to tail drop? I mean, do I want to... Actually, maybe that's not that much of a threat. That's right, it's 25% chance of actually working. Alright, I'll try it. I'll try leaving that energy on the Kangaskhan, even though there's a very, very slim chance of Starmie getting knocked out, but chances are it will not, so... Yeah, Alright, tail drop, right? Here it comes, if anything is tails, the attack does nothing, and as expected, while well, they're both tails. But yeah, um... The, uh... Wait, wait, I just want to see here, yeah. The, uh, tail drop typically it just is not going to work most of the time. So, anyway, Star Freeze, and I shall stop that Kangaskhan in its tracks in more ways than one. And Bill? Always nice to see. Double, double colorless. Uh, guess I'll do that. Get things set up. And I, I don't know why I looked at Recover there for a second when, I, when I'm at full health. I've been at full health for ages. But yeah. Alright, here comes the bite. So, since it's doing 20 damage to me per attack, using the recover is just kind of moot. So I'm just gonna go for the Star Freeze. And I was gonna say, if I take any more damage from the Kangaskhan, then I'll use recover and then I'll attack, because I'll be doing, you know, I'll be taking 20. Uh, oop, that potion's just stall a little bit. This is a little bit. Ooh, Professor Oak. Maybe, maybe I could end it quick. Because if I get the Wiggly, or should I just kind of give her mercy and see what her deck's all about? <laughs> ah, ah. At the at the very least, I'd like to Star Freeze. All right. And that is that. And 
Hey, you got a bench! I'm so happy for you! I was a little bit worried that I'd have to rebattle you sometime in the future because I can't, I can't like, do it as quickly as I'd like to in this sort of game format because at the game corner type place here it's, uh, it kind of, kind of pre pre restricts you from doing that. So anyway, Sarfaris! There we go. Although she is the first battler, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, I guess I could just re-enter the place anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Fire on the licky. And here it comes. Here it go. Oh. <laughs> I was so expecting there to be infinite paralysis again. Uh, that prepared for the future. Let's just Professor Oak. So you would get out of this. Figure that after I use my double colorless, I'm good to go. Well, that's definitely getting energy removed. Um, yeah, star freeze. Let's go. Woo! And please, for the sake of not having to rebattle you, please get a basic Pokemon. I don't know. Actually, she's not. Her deck isn't that strong or anything like that. I mean, yeah, they do say that. Uh, the players in here are really strong players, but I think we've... We have the decks to, to tackle them, let's put it that way. <laughs> Alright, blop it on in. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'd be able to win if I Professor Oaked and just went into the Wigglytuff. Because I, I probably would get a Wigglytuff out of that, because we're getting low on the cards in the deck, so... Anyway, oh, that's right. <laughs> I was gonna say, anyway. Um, yep, Star Freeze. <laughs> and I got the heads. Paralysis works in my favor, not the opponents. Alright, uh, so I win. <laughs> I think we've seen it was, it was coming to that anyway. Uh, should I, though, just like, I don't know, give her a chance? I suppose. I'll see what I get with Professor Oak, though. Now watch, she just continually paral uh, causes paralysis for nine turns. <laughs> Got Pokemon Trader. Oh yeah, that would give me a Wigglytuff. <laughs> so, that will work as well. Uh, yeah. Why do I keep forgetting about that, anyway? Uh, I guess I'll just see what she's got. And there's the fire, and there's the stomp ball. Ooh, actually did a little extra damage. Show oh, man. Look who is using recover. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Mm -hmm. We shall do exactly as stated. <laughs> That's why I said I was holding off on using recover because of the... Uh, uh, it just seemed kind of moot, so you do it on 20 damage, it's just gonna come back as 20 anyway, so, yeah. Energy removal. Put that on there. Keep stalling, I suppose, just in case she gets another head flip. Let's see if she's got some sort of bench something. <laughs> no? Really? I mean, I, I could have won like five times over, not just. <laughs> uh, Dugong. And, yeah, I'll just call it a turn. Not too concerned, I could switch into anything. Okay, she's got Magmar. That, that Magmar will go down pretty quick, though, because I got the Water Critters. So it's not really... Mm. Mm. Water Energy! Speaking of... Treats. Too gone. Roar Beam. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's, that's another way to win, basically. And there's the Magmar. And blazing fire, but that's not really gonna do all that much. <laughs> all right, so yeah, it's yeah. See, the thing about it is that it does ten plus how much you discard, so it could do a lot, but you probably will never have the energy to actually use that much, especially when I'm in such a position. <laughs> all right, let's. I'm, I'm done giving her mercy, I'm, I win. <laughs> Victory is mine. It's, it was mine like 30 turns ago. Excellent, here, take these chips. Yay! Because of your victory, you may advance deeper into the dungeon. 
You may now leave here with your winnings or continue your journey. I will most certainly fight on. As you wish, I'll open the doors ahead. By all means, advance onward. So yeah, you could. So it's like a risk reward thing, except for the fact that uh, you can save between battles. This is exactly what I'm gonna do. It's for the sake of being able to beat all of them. So yeah, with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I head on to the next room and battle the next chess piece.